All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of Star Fox Lilat System, which is being made by forum user Rough93. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is all the core planets of the Lilat System from the Star Fox game franchise. And oh, I love this mod. When I saw it on the forums earlier today, I just had to take a look at it. Frankly, out of sheer nostalgia. So here we are, and let's jump right on into the tracking station to take a look at the currently two different suns and 12 planets added in by this mod. Now, I do want to point out one thing as I'm zooming out. This is still a very much in early development mod, as it is at the moment version 0.1.1. .1. So it's still got a long ways to go until it's completely finished, so there's going to be a few finicky things here and there including my first little nitpick about this particular mod. Uh, there's the system. There's the Lilat system, which with, of course, its other star right there orbiting around it. And, well, it's just, it seems too close. <laughs> Typically, when you get a mod that adds in a new star system, it puts it way the crap out in the universe somewhere, and this just seems a bit close for now. Hopefully, it does move away much, much further in the future, uh, but for the time being in this early state, it's perfectly acceptable, frankly. So let us focus on Lilat itself, and here we are. We have the orbits of all of our lovely planets here, and of course, our other sun right there. And if we zoom in, we do have, of course, a lovely star that's, well, a star, frankly, like any other. And if we tap to the first of our planets, we have Macbeth, which, if we zoom in, is a pretty well-textured little thing. I think one of the better textured ones in the pack. Again, early development on this mod. There's a couple of planets which you're going to look at and go, ah, still needs a little bit more work. But Macbeth, very nice looking. And and, of course, Middle Rich Factory World. Now, the next one we have is Zones, if I'm pronouncing any of these right. All of, ugh, I haven't played Star Fox in years, I'll be completely honest with you guys. And, yeah, they never really pronounced things in those games. From what I remember, it was all just gibberish talking. So, who knows if I'm pronouncing anything correctly. But here we go with Zones, or Zones, however it's said. A lovely little world covered in oceans with a smattering of islands about. Very, very nice indeed, if a bit laggy. A couple of these planets do seem to add in a big a bit of lag. Again, probably just a side effect of being such a new mod. Now, the next one we have is Katina. I think this one's probably my favorite of the planets because it just looks beautiful. A lovely semi-arid world and apparently home to the Cornarian Army. I don't remember that, but again, haven't played the game in years, thus nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> then we move on to Saria, which I already have a little probe around, so we can go and take a closer look at it later. And it, of course, is a world which apparently is full of dinosaurs, and Jebediah really wants to visit, because, well, maybe he thinks they're his long-lost cousins or something. But a very cool planet nonetheless, a lot of good oceans, a lot of good land, all good. Though, of course, definitely needs some more texturing work on this one. As you can see, all the land masses are just... Black. There's really no real contouring, I guess, is the best word. I was trying to think of a word there in that little bit of silence. Uh, definition of the terrain, maybe? That's another good word. And, of course, that problem persists on the next planet, which is Corneria, which, again, just, you know, basically a larger version of the issue that we had with that little planet just right over there. Look at it, little, little fella. And then we move on to Aquas, which is a world of entirely covered in ocean. That was a weird way to say that, but I'm going to stick with it. And yes, just a very lovely blue marble in the sky. The next planet we have is Fortuna, a very nicely done planet, very good texturing on it. I do enjoy the coloring, always nice. And then we move on to Titania, which is has a pretty good texturing job on the planet, but definitely needs more work on the ring, uh, That because right now it's just a solid gray thing. So it would be nice to have that a bit more textured in the future. Hopefully that will come. And then we move over to 
Fischina, if, oh god, I'm probably not pronouncing any of these correctly, of course, a lovely icy world, which seems to share some of the textures of one of the other planets we were previously looking at, but in a more bluish shade. And then we have the other sun, Solar, here, which is just a nice big pink blob, very cool indeed, which, of course, has two orbiting planets of Venom here, a very nice little place. And then, of course... Eladard? Oh yeah, I'm not gonna say any of these correctly. And yes, that I believe should finish up. Yes, that is all the planets in the system. Now if we actually just go back to our probe over here and actually go to fly that in the real world or well, you know, virtual world, and we can take a bit closer of a look. Now again, these planets are all still very much in development, so at the moment, you know, they exist, we have the planets, we have the suns, there are some science opportunities, but for the time being, there still are no custom biomes, so you're not going to be getting that deep into the science with the varying biomes. Hopefully that will come in the future. Uh, there is some oddities between the view that you have when you're here, and, of course, the view that you have when you're actually on the planet, some of the textures get a little bit better when you're down there, as opposed to, say, the tracking station and it whatnot, or, of course, even our orbital view here. And another one is Cornea, or Corneria, behind our planet here. Its orbit's slightly off. If we actually bring back our UI and go to the map view... And zoom out to Corneria, you'll notice if we can actually see it on here. Oh, I saw it earlier, but its orbit point, if we actually, I probably have to, we have to get the ship over here. Its orbit point is actually sitting like out here in space. So slightly off kilter at the moment. But again, remember this whole thing is still at the moment very much a work in development. Uh, but overall, still a very cool system nonetheless. I like seeing all these old planets from Star Fox brought to life in the game. It's uh, definitely a fun thing to have. And, uh, well, this is, of course, so, oh, Lord, now I've already forgotten which planet I'm around. Uh, okay, so we'll just go to another one, because, yeah, I don't remember. <laughs> So bring back the UI and we'll bring up our orbit editor. We're around Saria. There it is. There it is. And let's go and check out perhaps Aquas. I think that'll be a good one. Let's make sure we have a good, nice orbit. That should be fine. Hopefully, please don't explode. We seem a little bit close. Let's uh, do that. There we go, that's a little bit nicer. And yeah, just a giant blue marble in the sky uh, offering you uh, just a giant planet full of uh, water, which is still quite cool. I do I do enjoy that. I always like little water planets, especially with some of the mods out there that do add in things like flotation devices. And I'm still centered on this planet. Oh God, where do we go? <laughs> Oh, I always forget how to reset the view in here because I always forget to recenter myself on my actual ship. Well, oh well, we're not going to be in the map anymore. But yes, there we go. We have Aquas there. And of course, let's go check out just one more planet just to get a quick, brief view of some of the things that we have available to us. Let's head towards... Let's actually go towards... Yeah, Eladard. See one of the ones over by the other sun that we have and apply that. Our ship appears to be heating up. That's not good. And we're about to explode. We've exploded. <laughs> well, we are quite close to a sun. So that, uh... That was probably not the best of my plans that I've ever done in one of these videos. But yeah, there we go. There is, uh, Eladard. <laughs> That actually does pose a very interesting problem that you would have trying to explore this planet. You would need to make sure you have a hella good heat shielding, because even getting close to the planet means getting very uncomfortably close to that sun, which, hey could be a fun, interesting challenge. Uh, but yeah, that is the Star Fox Lilat system. 
definitely still needs a lot of work to be completely finished, but overall I think it's a very good start. I love seeing just the nostalgia of these planets coming to life in the game, and that's one of my favorite parts about a lot of different mods that we have in Kerbal Space Program. It allows us to get those fun nostalgia moments from older games or cartoons or TV shows, etc. And this is just another good example of that. I hope this continues to develop into a fine star system, and yeah, you can come and explore it, do yourself a little barrel roll, and enjoy yourself, and if you would like to check this mod out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as always, but that is going to be it for today's episode. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course, that you do come back for the next, but until that time, thank you for watching my friends, and as always, have a good one.